Welcome back to another video. And you remember last week we painted, we built this guy, and now we have him primed up and we're ready to get him painted. He's on the base that he's supposed, to, that he was on before when they ripped off him. They changed the base size of the Mega Boss. I didn't realize that when I took him off his base. So I printed a new base for him that is that size. But it's a little bit of a bummer because now I gotta rip off my regular ones, my regular Mega Bosses, and get their on these bases too, which ripping models off bases is not fun. Um, so we're gonna try our new paint scheme for our orcs and see how we like it. So we're gonna start with our skin and we're gonna be using Plague Bearer Flesh for the their skin. I really like the lighter, more neon colors for their skin uh, a lot better. I think it looks cooler than, well, definitely better than what I had it, I think, so. Let's just get all that covered. Get the hand in here. So we're gonna start, yeah, we're starting with our contrast like we normally do. And just kind of going through this. I like how this guy turned out. I think, you know, I think there's some things we could have done better but I think overall he, he turned out really good. Okay, let me get up here. This is kind of where we did that sculpting, so it's gonna be a little, might be a little funky in there, but that's fine. Here and here, the front of the hand. He's got like his knee showing, it looks like right here, maybe right in there, and the foot. No, that looks like pants, so we don't have to worry about that right there. And we'll paint that. Alright, so that's that. For the scales, we're going to be doing red, this Blood Angel's red. For all the, like, the, the scaly armor and then the, the little hangy bits off the model, so... I'm uh, 3D printing something and I don't think it's working, so. The whole front of this? Really? <sighs> that print. This is the most riveting episode ever. It's not even on the screen. Uh, it's gonna be, that's gonna suck to clean up later. Okay. That's not gonna be fun to clean up. So let's continue with our red here. And we got a 
get here. The front here. This bit here. And Okay, those are all of that. I'm gonna have to pick out the, I don't know. Let's go, let's pick out some reds on here. This is what color our spikes are. So the, the little scales kind of, kind of undermine this. this for now. So let's go red here. We'll keep them red and white. Let's paint that. And then this one here. And then this one here. Okay, and then here we'll do this one and this one. And we'll get this guy. here okay and then same thing for the jaw here and this is okay if we go over because we're painting that black so don't worry about being a little messy right here just do your best to get it. Okay, that's good there. So now, let's go back to our green, because I noticed a part that I missed on his stomach. So just get this and then get his stomach right here. I think it's still worth it to have brown straps, but we'll use Gorgon to fur for this. So we just go to our strapping here, which is like this piece in here. And his belt under here, and we gotta go looking on here, which we have here. Just get that, as well as this here. We'll just work through these. Just get this one. And then this guy. And gotta get the belt here. This little back strap. Okay, we're just looking for those straps. I think we 
got them all managed like this. red you're noticing some bits here get over here get under here and then I guess so I need to get the back side of this okay I'm seeing more brown so I'm doing this for our Gorgantra. This. And then get right there. And is there any more? I don't see any more. So now we move on to the pants, which would be the next lowest layer. And I want those to be purple, but I think we should probably wait for this to dry, just in case we start touching stuff that is in the way. So I'm gonna let this dry. We'll let this dry and then we'll come back. It's probably the smart move. You don't need to rush it. All right, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, we've had a lot of time to dry. And I think we need a darker purple than we normally use um, this demonette hide. Ah, but I think this purple looks cooler. We're gonna go blue violet. We're gonna go with blue violet. And if we need to, we can bring it down later. We can bring it down later, oh God. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own and just goes, flows into whatever it wants to flow into. I can't believe that this was the same size base that it was on. This piece right here is not his knee. Let's just get that nice and covered in there. Let's get him on his little, let's get a little paint. Let's get a little model grabby. It is a little tight in there. This piece that we're like, oh yeah, we gotta do this later. So we're doing that now. Fixing that, and is that really, oh no, because we got, I was like, is that all of his cloth? <laughs> no, gotta get these little bands on his wrist here. And then there's some in here too. Can't really see in there that in there is little. It's a little mystery in there for us. Okay, he's got his purple. Now we're gonna go into the bulk of the armor, which is black. And we're, I know I like to use black gray usually, but we're going dark black for this, like just regular black. And I will use the other colors uh, to kind of build up some highlights, maybe. So we'll see. So let's just take a minute and we're gonna pick out some areas that are um, gonna remain white and leave them white. Cause we're using white and red for our little um, thingies. For the little, little pointy bits that stick out.
So let's just get all of this stuff painted that we want to get painted. And that symbol will come out when I'd we dry brush over and stuff. in here then some of these bits will also be black so let's just pick those out while we're here on I'm also seeing a spot down in there that needs to be purple still so let's get our purple and it's like is that boot I might be boot but we'll paint it purple for now Have our brush there and then get rid of it off there. Okay, and then back on the black, back in black. Trying to see like what's shoe and then what's um, armor on this part. It's not like the other one where it's more ambiguous. Oh, let me see. Almost lost it there for a second. I'm just getting all these like top areas that are a little troublesome to to reach. shoe or the metal on the shoe anyway did get underneath the shoe here and we can see if we can get this Maybe a little rough right there. And we can get underneath his foot too. Okay, and then we just move on here to the rest of the 
rivets. Probably should have taken the rivets off of the this piece too. Um, but we didn't, so we'll just have to work that in. School, yeah, it's all school. Okay, you can't really see the where the lightning bolt was anymore, so that removal was successful. And then here, I mean, maybe they don't have bolts and stuff in fantasy like this, so I could have removed those as well. Um, but again, I don't know if we're gonna necessarily be using this guy as a mega boss. Um, I mean, I'd like to probably, but I like the regular mega boss model so much, and I only have one guy in my army that is the mega boss, so. It's more just an exploratory, how does the paint scheme work? And I didn't wanna paint the same model again for you guys. So, did some conversion, and I'm not gonna play uh, 40k orcs, so giving me someone that I could use is helpful in the long run. Who knows, maybe one day I can raffle him off or something once we get enough, get enough followers. And just be like, somebody gets this model. Do whatever you want with it. <laughs> but then that would also be scary for me too, because I'd be like, oh, you guys get to have one of my models? You get to see how, how bad it actually is? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, or maybe you might not think it's so bad, but. I like black armor, man. Black armor looks so cool. Let me get the unders here. See if that stays like that, or that I get in here and in there. And then. There, there, gotta get that. This kind of looks like it's sitting on top of this, so could we have that? Okay, so let's, let's paint this out. little tusk holders painted. And minus the purple, this is more of a standard orc paint job. <laughs> but this is what I like. It just looks so much better to you, like Black looks cool. Okay, and I think these, well, at least this one, is also in the here of getting painted so let's get that good okay Ooh, and we missed some of his armor here let's grab that and now 
oh, his helmet. I was like, I'm, and I'm done. And I was like, oh no, his helmet. That's like the most important part, right? I'm just a little locked down. Remember how we removed that grill from his face because I didn't like it because it had that texture on it? And this face has that same texture on it. <laughs> oh well. I liked him to have helmets anyway. I don't like to think that, you know, warriors would go into battle with their face exposed. It's just like an easy way to get killed. So they got their helmets on to protect their money makers. Giving anyone else Undertaker vibes with the the red on the the helmet and the black. I think that's Undertaker. I don't know. And then just make sure you get, sometimes when you do thinner coats, it, some of the white sticks out. You don't want that. Okay. So let's get the boot with the leather brown. Actually, let's go dark. Let's go whole red, because it'll bring like the reds closer into it too. It is, I mean, it's basically a brown anyway, so it's fine. So, this is almost like a burnt umber color. side here. So I have to retouch this purple here. Okay. Now our fur, we're gonna go German camo beige World War II. Any type color. Kind of going for like a Rathalos type um, paint scheme if anyone is a fan of Monster Hunter. Um, where like in this case the the armor and stuff 
is kind of reflected in that, like the materials that they use are from their creatures. So like, I'm gonna paint the Maw Crusher like the Rathalos, where it's red and black and this color so that, you know, like their materials, like what they come from, it makes sense like with all of their, their models. Ooh, I had a nightmare. So, so yeah, that's that's kind of like I like to do like with my models is just be like, oh, where did where'd they get this material? I mean, for humans and stuff, it doesn't really matter because you know they figure, you know, they're not as primitive as these guys are. But for these guys, I like to be like, oh, where did where they get all their stuff from? You know, they come from high in the mountains and. You know where they're getting their stuff from so I kind of like to have that reflected in the paint job so you can see like oh like this guy's this color and then that monster is that color so are, is it are they getting the same materials from that I don't know it's a fun little thing you can do if you want if you want to give yourself some, if you're having trouble finding ideas and stuff, just think of that. And it's not like, it's a hard rule that I set for myself when I'm painting these guys. It's, you know, it's the, it's the idea and it's just, a basic format to follow and you can always change it if you want to later. Okay, there's that. Now, what I want to do is kind of, I'm gonna edge highlight a little bit with a purple mixed with the black. So we're gonna take that same purple and some black that we have and just make like a purpley bluish black here. And then use that to kind of highlight or edge highlight our guy here. So let's take it and then just put it in those. Well, let's, let's see what it's going to look like first, huh? <laughs> so let's take it and just put it along this edge here. Like that and then I don't know if we want to, we can take some black and then just kind of help blend that in a little bit. And then here, around the top and around this edge here. It's subtle, it's really light. Get like the tops of these surfaces where like the light would catch. here just the, the little tops of these areas and then the tops of these shoes And 
that and it's just got some subtle purpley tinge to it. And then, well actually we got some parts here that we missed, so let's take our black, paint some of these. And then leave that. Oh wait, we have some. Remember, we left these armor plates. Some of these armor plates on this, so we can have this be like an armor plate that he put on the top of it. And here too, as well. Okay, so we put that on it. to go to our medium sea gray. And then I still like the idea of stone weapons for these guys. I mean, at the end of the day, they're still primitive, right? And wouldn't that be crazy? Like a, a, a big axe that was made out of a rock. So it's smashing and bashing. Which, you know, I don't know if I, I think I've talked about this already, but I am upset that Iron Jaws cannot ally with the new orcs like the only ally they have is the uh, gloom spite gets and that's not cool it's not cool like what you have to use the ogre mod i mean you have to use the orc orc clans to be able to use the the new work so you know like i lose out on smash, smashing and bashing and all that stuff because of this new army um because i wanted the ranged i wanted the ranged units in my in my army because anyone who plays uh iron jaws knows they don't got any range and i like the ranged better than um the one then using like gloom spite archers and stuff like that I want to keep it still orky so had to do that okay let's paint that should we paint that brown we'll use the same um, red brown that we used for the boots So 
So it's just like this big old hefty axe that he made. Now that I'm doing this like that, I'm painting it like this, maybe I should have used the, the more wood looking um, handles. But it's fine. We're here now. Now let's go with some metallics with our gunmetal. Oh, we still got some on here that looks pretty good still, so... Nope, we do not. <laughs> it up and then any other like metally bits on this thing so we can go like right here we can make it so that, that was a pin that went in there we have some like parts on this bandolier here um we can also do like the top of the armor i don't know okay so now we can dry brush with it. Let's take the dry brush. Is this it? Yes, okay. So take this, get our gunmetal color all over it. And now we're gonna hit the armor. Give it a metallic look. Like it's actually metal because it is. Okay. And now we want to lighten it a little bit more. So we're going to go with the ghost gray. And we have some already on here. Let's just hit the, that just gets a little bit more moisturized in there. If you have your wet, the brush is wet too, like that kind of prevents it from giving that like dusty look on your dry brushing, which can happen. Now that I'm looking at it too, I forgot we paint. Let's get this, the inside of here painted black. So it's like sitting on top of his armor. Okay. 
That's good. Okay, so now we gotta go to our washes. Because what would I do without washes? <laughs> um, let's get our brush here. And we're gonna start with our Agrax. Agrax Earth Shade. Which is somewhere in here. Here it is. I'm gonna use this over all this, the, the bones and all the tusks and everything like that. So to give it that nice bony look to it. So. Get that going. This whole thing touched with this is fine. We definitely have those teeth on there that we need to do that I didn't pay attention to earlier, so we'll have to go back and get the, the front teeth here on this guy painted because They're clearly metal, and we should fix that. Click that. Same thing here, get this going on. Oh, we can hit, also hit the fur with this too, so don't be afraid to just let it go in some of these areas. It's definitely a lot more earthy than they were. If you remember before, they were the snow, snow colored orkies. Which was a cool experiment for me. Like I didn't really, that was like my first army that I actually started with all white in the primer. So, you know, it, it got me, it was a building block that got me here. Um, but now that I'm here, I have different ideas and things that I want to do. So, we got to here. And get this guy. And hopefully this doesn't kind of make it to one note, which is possible that happens with this wash um, but we'll see that's like a Mad Max character he's just like oh I'm here to kill Give me all your gas. Give me your gasoline. Okay, so there's that. And really quick, so we don't forget, we'll take our black and get some of these teeth here. And then really quickly we'll switch to the red. And then put it on these other teeth right here. And just clean it up so it's not 
super aggressive. Okay, and then we get our known oil wash for the axe here to darken that out. And we'll do the same thing that we did last time with this army still, and that's like dry brush over the top of this with the ghost gray to give it a more stony look. There we go. And that is how we paint our converted orc mega boss. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Wednesday. And new podcasts every Saturday. And we'll catch you guys. Oh, wait, no, you know what? And we'll catch you guys on the next one. But really quick take the gray here and paint this stone it's right here on his foot so that when we base this guy we're ready to go we also have to paint the base rim black but you guys know that all right cool we'll catch you on the next one